for a little while. Huh. I'll be careful. Tell him to be careful. No, yeah, I'll try not to break any more your glasses while they help it. So he sounded like he did machine work for you or electrical work? Laura? Certainly. I don't know. I, I don't really follow that part of it. Oh, okay. Cool. And I remember <laughs> I had to laugh. The only worse boat than Robbie Romai was the toad. Right? Was the what? The toad, which is what Mike and Gary bought. Oh, together. that, yeah, that was the only worst boat. You, I, it answered Wait, my prayers. The blue one? Yeah. We stored what, it at my that? girlfriend's that's house. We sold it at um, the I believe that's, of Camarillo Springs. I believe that's uh, been turned into uh, Ducati beer cans <laughs> down in Mexico. <laughs> I mean, we used to play on it like a playhouse. So, yeah. yeah, we played I mean, a the uh, for somebody who was a little like, on it. So, Gary, okay, so what happened? No. Okay, so let me explain. So, so Gary um, and Mike decided to buy a very simple boat. It was a piece of junk. Is that the one you really did? That was a long time. That was about an eight it's, 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 it's working. It's got eight minutes on it. Wasn't that right? Yes. And so, so I remember being on a, on a lake with the kids, just the four of us, Gary and Brandon and Grant and me. We were at the farthest end of the lake. And the engine pooped out, and it would only go in reverse. <laughs> so we went the entire length of the lake to get back to the backwards, and, and my kids were trying to look cool. <laughs> like, you're going the wrong direction. We got this down. And that was that was. Uh, and, but the only worst boat was Robbie Romai. Dad, everything happened in that boat except for it sink. I built everything character. <laughs> The, uh, it caught fire? Oh, it didn't catch on fire back then. Yes, it did. No, it didn't catch on fire. The, 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 the V-drive. The gear box. The, the, drive, yeah, yes. the, the drive box. It had an engine here, and it went to a, a drive, which went to the propeller. Well, this drive was too small for the job, and it got hot. so damn hot that we had to pour everything we had into it to keep it cool. And we finally got into the breakwater to 
Coast Guard tows it back to the dock or something like that. Then I got a different B drive. For okay. It. I knew every emergency directive. I knew. Didn't we know all about how to, uh, the, uh, how to light a flare? Right? Well, you should, but the well, I, 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 everything <laughs> is kids. Well, here's what I remember. I remember this distinctly. The V drive had gotten hot, yeah. and we were in the middle of the Catalina Channel. Yeah. And my mother figured this was the end, so she had stripped down to her shorts <laughs> and her bra. <laughs> and, and she was sitting there in a chair waiting for the end times. <laughs> and I looked at Dad and I said, Dad, there's a castle. It wasn't a castle, it was a goddamn freighter. It was. <laughs> <laughs> there was a freighter going by. We almost ran into this all the way. I said, Didn't you see that? She said, I thought it was a mountain. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a castle. <laughs> but we were just stuck there floating, so I don't know what we were going to do anyway. But uh, well, we, got we, we, we had got first name basis of the of the. the we, got, we got into the channel. Yeah, we didn't sink and we got going again. <laughs> so mom put her clothes back on. This is an aside, but I worked on Catalina, and we would have these fourteen-year-old kids sailing a twenty-two-foot cat. You'd be like, okay, when you see the um, what is it again? The ball. No, the, no, the casino. When you saw the casino, you needed to pack and come back, and then they capsize. You'd be like, shoot, like, and they'd be out in the middle of like deep, deep water, and we'd just come with our little boat, like, we're coming to the you. They would be they like, capsize or turtle? They would capsize these oh. 22 cats. Did you ever tell you, your mother ever told about the time she was on in the sort of a floating raft type of thing out in the ocean. And we were camped out at, on the Catalina Island about halfway between the Isthmus and Catalina, oh, and Avalon. And she's out there beyond the waves in this big balloon. Lounge, thing. like a lounge. She's totally out, like, picture grand doing on. this. And pretty, soon, pretty soon she gets caught in the current <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> Mike was supposed to always be watching the rope, the dinghy rope. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work very well. I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I watched it get cut by the prop. Exactly. And there goes the dinghy, and you go and stand up and stand with all together, stripped out to nothing, anatomical lesson for the female board, and dives overboard and swings and swims. Do you remember that? I distinctly remember that. Right near the instrument. Yeah, and swims to get it. It's just fine. And then gets into the thing, and of course is rowing naked. <laughs> Was it what? With Mike with the matches with remember the pull down in Robbie Romai that okay, so the front Oh yeah, our well, privacy screen. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is okay. So in the front it didn't muffle it didn't muffle any noises. No, it didn't. <laughs> so in the front of the V, you opened up the hatch and there was the commode and you sat there and you pulled down a, you just pulled down a shade, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, fair enough. Right, Third degree right, right. burns over there. There was a lot of stories. In reality, Dad, how much time did we spend every summer yeah, in Catalina? Well, like an eternity. Because you had, no, you had a lot of time stored up. Well, what I would do, I would take, you know, I'd take about three or four days off in a row, and then every month I could do that. You know? That's so cool. I felt like we were there, like, you know, a week at a time. Well, just about, yeah. We go over and there. many times. You run out of time, I have some online cameras. All yeah. through the summer, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Like that. I in Emerald Bay. There. Emerald Bay. You did. You love oh, it. You're like locals there because we work at this camp and like they know when CME employees go to the bar over there. What's the bar called? Um, oh, it's famous it's over it's there. It's there. It's no, uh, in Avalon there's a bar. Oh. The uh, wow. Marlin Club. Yeah. yeah. You go to the Marlin Club and then it's just like, oh, hell breaks loose. And they even said to us, are you ready for the 4th of July because you will be getting drunk. Mm -hmm. And you will work the next day. And I was like, towing the boat and I was just like, I'm not going to throw up, I'm not going to throw up. And like everybody was wearing glasses because they were still drunk from the night before. And that's the company that you work for and you just like, it was a blast. It was so much fun. But they were also very generous. They never charged me for sleeping there and they never charged me for food. I was supposed to charge on the way back. Or very inefficient. Yeah, Aaron. It used to be, uh, yeah, I think the food they just let me, and then they ended up, I signed the um, log that I came back, but they never charged it back up. It was a um, for the Navy rock base. Mm -hmm. And then they took it and made it a Marine Which camp. Which bay was it? Because you would know what bay. Um, Toyon. At Toyon Bay? So the yeah, next yeah, bay. Exactly. And what That's was really it. nice is they owned, um, from, you know, mountain to mountain, they owned the whole canyon. Because some yeah. of those bays, you got this yacht club, and then you got this little yeah. camp, and you got this, and I'm sure the yacht club's going to get these little mm -hmm. punks out of my way. So they own the whole day, and then they own the, the canyon, too. Canyon, and goes all the way back. And what's interesting so is it's all um, these, but you see all the equipment. There's tractors in there, three, four tractors, probably 25 boats. You know, it's just amazing, you know, and if you were ever, if you just walk away with it. Or the trash truck. The dumpster comes on this boat, and then that's in, in on the barge, and they just take all the trash in front of a camp. When was the last time you were there? Oh, it's been years. You should go years. back. Uh, the just last stay in a hotel there. and just sing Kumbaya and sing Margaritaville. Yeah, well, all that stuff has changed so much. So it, it, it still has the original feel, though. I don't know. Ish. I didn't know it in the 50s. Last time we were there, we, well, we flew over there several times, but... That's about the last time we were there, wasn't it? Well, we stayed at Nancy's house. At well, that's right, yeah. They had good ice cream. My my very dear friend Thank you. had a house there. Oh. So we stayed there several mm -hmm. months. That's fine. Yeah. Does she still have it? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's the usually family. not working though. Yeah, the family's passed down the houses, so you can't really ever buy it. A dear right. friend of ours just passed away. Had a house there all her life. Mm. Oh, wow. All her life. Was kid. Well, that was delicious. Kid, I didn't kid. eat it all, but thank you, you very much. Have to. Really Maybe there was a book, um, a lady, that was interesting to no, oh, 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 My dog is not eating anything else. She's on a diet. Um, it was she had a I thought she actually grew up. I blame it on you. She was, her dad was like a, um, a foreman for the Wrigley's, so he would take, take care of her <laughs> <laughs> land. So she swam and ran horses and actually did, she wrote a little like memoir of her growing up baby. So it was kind of nice. Yeah. Our friend probably had the same kind of a... You know, take tours. <laughs> if anybody come oh, over, she take the people horseback riding. She actually lived there. Yeah. And and Jameson still had that house. Do they? Do they rent it out? Is that anything? Well, uh, the oldest daughter, the one with the high school teacher, mm -hmm. had it. But we could have it any time we wanted it. Wow. Well, Where is it, Patty? Where is it? Where is it? It's on the Catalina Island. Avalon? Avalon. Avalon's got a severe water shortage. Yeah. Because yeah. there's been no rain. They changed their um, toilets to salt. Wait, how did that work? Uh, they were having problems because they were in a road. So, because they didn't have enough water on the island, so they used the salt water, yeah, and then all their pipes started eroding because of the salt. I think they've done that for years. Yeah, because they were telling, um, my ex-boyfriend Matt would like to talk about all this background story, and they're like, oh, what do you know, like, 
That's interesting, though. The funnest time we went there was prom for Rebecca's birthday. They had the prom for the high school. Well, they, no one goes off the island, so they get all in their prom dresses and go out on the pier, and they, like, shout they together. They do, like, a fashion show. Like Everybody going down goes down the pier and comes back up. And, and then, then they, they take all their golf carts. And we the saw this court. guy, he got in so much trouble. He has a golf cart. It kind of gets, they got ice cream. He has a folk star. And the ice cream falls on the girls' mm -hmm. prom dress before they even get to the prom. And then the price was more shit on the boys like, I am in so much trouble. And the girl is just looking at him like, you know, I tell you, but I need to put down. <laughs> in different groups all the way to the, the end of the prayer and then come back. Because nobody could get off the Who needs line. photos and he can do a walk? <laughs> that is fun. It's packed over there now. Did you know like a, a slip is like 400, 500, probably more than that, a grand. I would say for a slip, buoy. For how long? No, we looked it up, remember? Uh, the buoy price for the summer is really expensive. Just for the summer? Mm-hmm. I think it's... What's a buoy? I don't get it. Like, you, what are you talking about? You talking about uh, we were... Um, yeah, we stayed... One of the girls that went to our camp, her family goes overseas and lives on a boat, and he's an engineer that can do that kind of stuff, but they said it was like almost a thousand for like two days. Just like Two days? Mm-hmm. Really expensive. Right. We used to anchor in the harbor there almost frequently. You know? Very nominal, maybe. Yeah. Well, and even the to tie your dinghy up, there was at least 20 dinghies on this little pier. I mean, you basically are stepping on top of four or five boats to get out on the pier. Mm -hmm. And everyone's just pushing everything around. All the little inflatable boats that you go on your boat. Yeah, it was kind of. We were able to make little, like, um, town runs. So we'd go from Point on. Chug, 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 all the way to Avalon, and then tie up, do our drives, and go back. They pick me up from the um, harbor, and, or they go um, get food. I call because they couldn't call for camp. I know. Do they still have uh, airplanes that land on the water? We actually, oh, I don't know about that. Huh. We went on the backside a lot, but I didn't see any of them. They have like the paragliding ones, like the boat the paragliding ones. I, I, I didn't see them now. It'd be scary. I'd be like, what did I do? I did it. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. sprays on them in the That's scary. That was down at Puerto Rico. That'd be fun. That's where my friend just went for her honeymoon. They had a wedding up in Reading by Humboldt, and then they had their honeymoon in Mexico for Rocco. I love Mexico. I want to go. Well, I'm gonna go. But, yeah, I'm so careful mm -hmm. now. We used to go down there. We flew to Puerto Rico. Oh, my son, too, but I mean, she grew up in Mexico, and she was like, oh, yeah, 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 they had a Mexican house, bro, they raided the house, and it was in the wrong house, but they would be like the car team, knocking at your door at 4 o'clock in the morning. Is that bottle empty? Mmm, a little bit left. Are you guys still drinking margaritas? I was going to buy margarita mix for your father's day present, but I forgot. Did you want some more wine? Okay. He's driving. That's right. I'm, I'm driving. driving. Yes. <laughs> you and mine.